going on everybody and welcome to a brand new video on my channel. My name is Elite and you guys can tell this is a video on icon trading for FIFA 19. I told you guys I'd bring it out and here it is. So guys, if you do end up enjoying this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe by the end. Let's go ahead and get started guys. So basically what we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be covering icons and their fluctuation throughout FIFA 18 and then we can kind of determine when are the best buy times, when are the best sell times, but you also have to consider what were the SBC requirements back in those times that made these cards go up in price. Now if you're unfamiliar with why icons had risen a ton at the beginning of the game last year, it's because they dropped icon SBCs for the prime icons which required you to submit other icons in to actually complete it which means that the icons that were required most of them at the beginning were center mids or central players not wingers not center backs full backs or goalkeepers just those central players from cdm to striker those are the cards that skyrocket in price on different thursdays which is when these cards are released now this year if they do the prime icon SBCs again, which they probably will, they're going to be dropping almost every Thursday just because of the fact that there are so many icons this year, which means that they're not going to be able to do it every three weeks because they just won't get through all the icons by the end of the game. Now, I know that they're not against going into freaking April and May and June to do these icon SBCs, so you have to consider the fact that they're not in any rush to actually complete these and get them all out to you at the beginning of the game, which sucks, but that's EA. You got to expect it. So you got to kind of consider maybe some weeks they're not going to have them, but most weeks they probably will. So every two weeks at the very least. So so let's go ahead and pull up the display capture. We're going to take a look on footbin.com, and that's going to show us what they um, were priced at at the beginning of the game last year. So as we switch over here, we've got a list of all of the icons in FIFA 17. So normally what we're going to not want to do is choose Pele for the first one. Also, we're going to stay away from the prime icons because... The prime icons aren't released at the beginning of the game. We're focused on the baby icons and the medium, the middle icons uh, of each of them because there are three different versions of each icon. So we're going to scroll through here and we're going to go ahead and take a look at Laurent Blanc first. Now, obviously, we're not going to look at his 91. We're going to look at the 89 to start off. Uh, right now, he's 329,000 coins on FIFA 18, but we're not worried about that. So what you would want to do is you'd go down to the daily graph. You'd take it, you'd go to 2017, and it'll show you all the way throughout the year. So overall, you guys can tell the drop in price is a lot larger than the rise in price, but that drop doesn't start until 2019. So that drop doesn't even start until January. And I think that first drop is really because of team of the year. And then you see it recover again. So it drops down to 782,000 coins in early January. It goes all the way back up to nearly 900,000 coins. Now, throughout the rest of the year, they continue to drop. So there's really not too many great investments to make. There are different peaks, different valleys, but ultimately it's going to drop in price for the most part. Hits a little bit of a, a bottom part at about 173k and rises back up till the end of the year. So it looks like they hit their bottom part in around June, which is team of the season. But we're going to go ahead and focus mostly on the initial rises. So we're going to go from September 27th, the release date, to about uh, December. And you guys can tell this card actually rises all the way until December. So if you're able to go ahead and pick one of those cards up on the early days, now here's the thing. This is one of the more expensive cards. Most of us aren't going to have 650,000 coins by the first days of October. You know, we're not going to have that many coins by the first day of October, but it's going to be a very similar trend for all of these icons. And this is an example that is very, very good to show you the actual fluctuation of a card because this rise that you guys see isn't because of any SBCs. That's a natural rise on the market. This card is actually going from 650K all the way up to 960,000 coins on its own because of its demand for weekend league, for just games in general, for people's teams. It's rising naturally, and it doesn't even take a big drop during the uh, Black Friday crash, which you can see a little bit of a valley there where it hits like almost 900k and then drops down to 830k. It actually wasn't even affected that bad by the Black Friday crash. So you can kind of tell how icons in general, if they are actually decent cards, which most of them are, so this is a pretty safe bet, they're going to rise. They're just going to rise until at least December. Before the team of the year drop, which will happen in late December, um, that's kind of the first 
uh, issue for their prices. So if you guys wanted to invest, you can sell at any point in the next three months and you're making profit. Let's use some other cards for examples uh, and not just go with Laurent Blanc. I want to go with one of the center mids because we can kind of tell uh, through the center mids how do they fluctuate if they're needed for SBC. So we'll go ahead and use Deco for an example. Uh, this is the 87 rated card. Uh, you know what, let's go and use the 85 rated card because it might be a little bit cheaper and uh, we can use that as an example. So right now it is not even on the Xbox market. Um, and it's going to be the exact same fluctuation, guys, on the PlayStation market as well. So kind of a very, very similar trend, guys, as you saw with the Blanc and the Deco, guys. Look at it. It rises, and then once you hit, like, late December, it starts dropping again. That's the exact same thing that happened to Laurent Blanc. That's the exact same thing that happened. So we're going to go ahead and use the exact same dates. We're going to go December 9th, 2017, September 27th. 2017 and look at that you go ahead and pick up these cards 271,000 coins on the first couple of days which is a lot more affordable than the 650,000 coins so you go ahead and scroll across that card rises all the way up to 700k at its peak now you can kind of tell when they really take a big rise and those different dates like this first big rise like out of nowhere, it's like one, you know, two, three days where it goes up 100,000 coins. That's an SBC. That's one of the icon SBCs. Um, you can already tell it was rising on its own, but that SBC shot it up 100K. And then it continued to stay around that price, maybe rising a little bit. Another SBC came out that required it. They shot up another pretty much 200,000 coins. And at points, they got very, very rare. So ultimately, what I'm trying to say here is we saw the Laurent Blanc. And now we see the Deco. So we see the different cards. The Laurent Blanc didn't wasn't required in an SBC. And if, even if they did need center backs, that card was too expensive. There were way cheaper center backs like Alessandro Nesta. So there was there wouldn't be any rise in price for a Blanc in a, an Icon SBC. That rose naturally. You can see how this card rises naturally as well, but also artificially due to the Icon SBCs that required central players. This card's not going to go for 750,000 coins regularly. I mean, honestly, that doesn't look any better than a Rakitic card. So you guys can tell that this card is rising because of SBC so not only will these cards rise naturally but they will rise because of the icon SBCs so you're pretty much double dipping on an investment and they're going to make you profit so the earlier you can pick these cards up as you can see maybe on the first day it's not a great idea because there simply aren't that many on the market yet so the kind of people that have these cards already are going to be choosing the price for them until there are more on the market and there becomes a little bit more competition to sell them and that's when you can kind of see them drop a little bit and then they they start rising the, the reason they start rising this early is because at first people don't really have that many coins hopefully we'll you know make enough coins to buy one of these cards uh, during the web app and during the early access and during the uh, you know we got the ultimate edition so we get three days early hopefully we have this many coins after trading up to that already and we can invest in that all we got to do is hold that card from September 29th so we hold that and then by freaking October 14th maybe we'd make 150,000 coins. That's a big investment for early in the game. Now, obviously, you don't know the requirements that they're going to need at the beginning of the game for Icon SBCs. They could require fullbacks. They could require strikers, whatever. But we know that they're going to rise regularly, so even if they aren't required, we're still going to make some profit. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more uh, before I end the video, um, just to show you guys that this is a very uh, consistent trend. It's a very consistent trend. Uh, for icons, so we're gonna go ahead and choose um, probably another that wasn't used in an SBC. Let's go with uh, Carles Puyol. That's actually a good. Uh, let's go with uh, somebody that's not a center back. Let's go with a winger. Let's go with a winger. Who's the best winger card out of all of them? It's probably Ronaldinho, but I think that's an icon card. Let's go with Roberto Carlos. That's a good one. Not really a winger, a fullback, but it'll still work. So this is his middle range card, the 88. So there's the baby card, 86, the prime card which is 91. So we're going to look at the 88 rated card. So we're going to go to 2017 once again. It'll set it at uh, September 27th. You guys can see a very similar trend, but it looks like for this card, it starts dropping a little bit earlier. But then again, you guys get in on that investment early. You're still going to be making profit pretty easily. And honestly, who wants to be holding this card for three months anyway, guys? We're not going to be holding these cards for actually that long. Like, yeah, they might peak in December sometimes, but honestly, you pick them up on the first couple of days, as you guys can see right here uh you know 700,000 coins 725,000 coins on the first couple days that's early October and 
just like that, I mean, just a week and a two weeks later, you're making 200,000 coins plus 200,000 coins plus in two weeks. That's perfect. I mean, do you really want to be holding for three months when you can just sell in two weeks anyway? And you guys can tell it's a very, very similar trend anyway. It does draw, it does start dropping a lot earlier, but it does uh, rise and it shows kind of the exact same pattern. It rises up and then it starts dropping and, and during the same dates, it hits its lowest. Like that's team of the year where we see it hit a little bit of a valley and then it rises back up and then team of the season, it drops even more and then and then rises for the rest of the year. That's the exact same thing as Blanc had. So this is uh, pretty much how you can expect these icons to uh, follow a trend in FIFA 19 as well. So come back to this video if you're like, okay, what date is it? What should I expect for the next few weeks, for the next month? Is this card gonna rise? Is this card gonna sell? It's gonna follow a very similar trend. There might be a little bit of different dates on when there's a market crash or when there's a big rise, but yeah. And uh, if you guys heard my follower alerts go off a couple times during this video, uh, it's because people are following me on Twitch and I completely forgot to turn off my desktop audio. So I apologize if that uh, distracted you. I'm probably going to get a couple comments on that but that's going to be it for today's video guys if it did help you out make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel uh for more trading tips trading to glory series squad building challenge guides and more fifa 19 content i'll see you guys in the next video and also if you haven't seen yesterday's ultimate trading guide i'd check it out it's uh, i spent a lot of time on it so that'd be great i'll see you in the next video peace out